Hello and thank you for taking a look at this project budget planner. Um, this is the tracker that will actually track your um, project budget. So whatever your project is, it's no problem. We can um, uh, purchase this product. And when you purchase the full version, what will happen is it will be sent to you. Your um, company name will be locked in. You won't be able to change that. But what you can do is name the, the budget and uh, I've just put the test budget and um, you can select this alphabetical or as per list. I'll go for alphabetical at the moment. What this does is whenever you click on a drop down list which will give you a list of all of your budget items it'll, it's going to appear alphabetical as exactly as per your list. You can actually choose that here and then you can also choose your preferred currency symbol. So um, obviously in Britain we pick the, um, the pound, you've got the dollar, euro and rand. Uh, dollar obviously Canadian, um, American, Australian, wherever you might be if you use that symbol uh, then go for it. So that's the first page. Um, and you can actually determine your costing. So there are 111 spaces in here, which means that you can either, if you've got less than 111 products, you can give each product its own spacing. Um, or else, if you've got more than 111 products, what you can do is actually um, give each one a category. So you can say, for argument's sake, um, if you're doing a project that requires labor, you can put labor as one of the categories and you can put as many um, entries against that labor category as you wish later on, but you can put a total for that. So I've just put in some random figures here, I'm just stuck to hundreds of pounds here, um, put those figures in and then it gives me a total for the budget of nine and a half thousand pounds and I've broken, I've just named them category one, two, three, so on. But you could have individual items or else you could put category names down there. Um, then that once you've determined your budget, you click on expenses. As you can see, I've filled in a few here already. What you essentially do is just capture each one. So let's just say, for argument's sake, on the 16th of September, you make a purchase. You can add in here a new purchase description. Um, this can be anything, really, just to let you know what it is that you bought. That's for you. You can type in anything over there. Then what you do here is you click on it, and you click on the drop-down list, and it gives you a list of your categories. Now, as you can see, these categories here... Um, have actually been completed, so I can't actually call those categories up anymore. There's category two that's still there. That's gone into alphabetical order. So let's just say, let's just have a look here, and let's just say I want to actually make a purchase against category 13. As I click category 13, it tells me it's still active. I've got 250 pounds left to spend in that category. Um, let's just say I make a purchase of 225 pounds. There you can see I've got 20. You can see I've got 25 pounds left in that category still, and then it asks you, is this category complete? So if you still have to make a purchase against category 13, then you leave it blank. If category 13, let's just say it was one item and you purchased it and it's done, then you can click here and you can say actually that is yes, and then it'll say there it's completed, and it'll just adjust these figures accordingly. So all your completed entries over under budget at the moment we're 255 pounds under budget, which means we've still got 255 pounds in the bank. Um, based on all of our completed jobs and the active ones, those three there that you see are still active, we've still got £450 to spend on those active jobs but the total we've spent so far is £3,545 and we've got 9500 total budget. That will give you a running total as you're going along, as you're capturing all of your um, all of your uh, purchases and expenses in those uh, respective columns. Then you can look at the budget tracker. What the budget tracker does is very similar. It shows you how much you're over budget on each of those items, on the um, uh, each of those statuses, the complete and active. But it also shows you each one. So for argument's sake, we can see at a glance here the category three, whatever item that would have been in. We are we spent 200 pounds. We we had 200 pounds, which means we've broken even. It gives us that little tick to say that we've we've achieved our target. That tick without the block means that uh, it's still active, but we're on target. That red cross there means that we've missed the target. I put in there, let's just say we budget £100, we spent 120 it tells us we've missed that target. Um, if we were to be busy with one that was active, that we had really gone over, it would give us a red cross, but with, uh, an orange cross cross without the without the block. So we can see with the basically glance there that we've achieved most of our targets, we're on track with most of them. And even this one that we're under, we're still over in total, so that's all good. Um, 
as far as the statistics are concerned you've got a wealth of statistics here you can obviously see the company and project name so far we've spent that we've got that as a budget we're 37 percent into the budget there's our running expense obviously this graph gets narrower and narrower i mean the graph stays the same width but you get more and more information across it as you fill in and um, enter more and more purchases but you can see the line going up and it's slowly but surely the um expenses is catching up to the budgeted amount here you've got all the different statistics complete entries spent so far so much budgeted so much under over budget so much active entries spent so far budgeted under and over and these are other entries these are entries which you haven't even begun to purchase yet you've quoted for them but you haven't even bought anything against them yet so far you spend zero that should always be zero because as soon as you spend something it'll become an active entry but you can see that you've got 5,250 5, pounds still to spend in that category you can also see a breakdown how many uh, num number of items or category titles within budget uh, within budget that are active, within budget that are complete, over budget that are active, and over budget complete, and it'll give you a breakdown of each one and the different figures, so you can see where you, you know uh, how you're doing as far as the overall budget is concerned. Number of items uh, or categories listed: 30 percentage of items that are complete, that 33 percent, 10 percent are still active, 57 percent still need to become active, so you can get an overall. Um, completion chart as to how how far you are into your actual project. So those are these statistics that you can see. So I'm sure you'll rec realize that um, all of these stats just to be able to monitor a budget for a project, um, it, it, it's quite it's quite a good deal. So um, yes, if you're interested in this in the spreadsheet, please do um, click on the link to purchase below. Um, if you found this spreadsheet on YouTube, then please visit spreadsheetsolutions.pw for more information. As we said, there is a free download. Uh, it's a limited version, but it's a free download that you can purchase if you want to, or you can actually just download if you want to. Um, otherwise, you can purchase this full version um, by clicking on the link. Thank you very much. Goodbye.